every evening when we have the chance before the meditation, we end with the chance for the Brahma Viharas, the sublime attitudes, wishing goodwill for all beings, compassion, extending empathetic joy for those who are happy, and equanimity for areas where we can't make any difference, where people are suffering and there's nothing we can do about it. We extend these attitudes because these are attitudes that we need to bring not only into the meditation but also into our lives as you're dealing with other people. The Buddha talks about goodwill as being a protection, and this doesn't guarantee that there will not be people who want to do unfriendly things to you or be dangerous to you, but you can face them with a clear conscience. And that right there is a huge difference. If you've had ill will for people and then they attack you, you realize, well, you basically took yourself down to their level. And whatever happens to you, part of your mind says, well, I'm getting what I deserved. But if you have nothing but goodwill, then you can face situations and realize, I don't wish this person ill at all, or this animal ill at all. And you can face difficult situations with a clear conscience. I've told you that story of a Chan Fuan living with a snake in his room for three days. There was one time when he had been on a tudong up in northern Thailand. He had gone into a cave thinking he might stay in the cave, and there was this enormous snake. He backed out. So this time he decided he wasn't going to back out. He was going to use his goodwill to be with the snake. And so the snake lived in his room for three days. Every time he came into the room, the snake would slip behind a little cabinet he had. And so he extended goodwill all the time. And then finally, the last night, the third night, he left the door to the room open and addressed the snake in his mind. He said, okay, it's not that I have ill will for you, but it's easy for human beings and snakes to misunderstand each other. You'd be a lot happier out in the woods. And the snake left. Didn't do him any harm. This shows a couple of things, one of which, of course, is that goodwill doesn't mean loving kindness. If you tried to show loving kindness to the snake, the snake probably would have bitten him. But he had goodwill, which meant that he simply wished for the snake's happiness. And what was best for the snake in this case was that they not stay in the same place. But the fact that he didn't have any ill will for it made the situation a lot easier. So always have goodwill every day, make an effort to extend it, especially to people who are difficult, animals that are difficult. difficult. They want happiness too. In a lot of cases they may be pretty deluded as to what real happiness is and how it's found. So you wish they may, may they understand the causes for true happiness and be willing and able to act on them. And you can wish that for anybody without hypocrisy. And it's your protection. <laughs>